It's been called the most beautiful town in China and is ranked number two on my list of China's most amazing ancient towns. Brace yourself for our breathtaking odyssey through Fenghuang Ancient City, an adventure that will ignite a spark within you you never knew you had. Hi, I'm Noah. Join me as I embark on extraordinary adventures discovering the hidden gems of China and completing thrilling travel challenges along the way. Today's challenge is to cure the world of depression. Approximately 280 million people suffer from depression worldwide. And while I can't promise to cure anyone's lasting mental health condition with a simple 10 minute travel video, I hope to craft this travel narrative in a way that inspires and reminds you that there's an abundance of beauty out there in China and in the world waiting for you to experience it. And now, roommates, let us venture into Fenghuang, or as it's known in English, Phoenix Ancient City. No matter where you stand in this most beautiful town in China, I bet what catches your eye most of all are one of its mesmerizing bridges spanning across the waters of the Tuojiang River. Each of them a unique masterpiece. The Hong Bridge showcases impeccable artistry with layers of intricately designed tiers and eaves. The Snow Bridge inspires awe and wonder with its flight of stairs ascending to the heavens. Suspended gracefully on the water, the Moon Bridge, with its gentle curves and edges, emanates tranquility. These bridges not only serve as links connecting people, goods, and culture, but if we view them through the lens of traditional feng shui, they are channels of energy built to maximize harmony and the positive flow of qi. With our mission to heal depression in mind, let us walk across each of Feng Huang's bridges to symbolize the elevation of our energy to pure bliss. With our serotonin levels now at an all-time high, let's carry this newfound happiness to what is perhaps the most legendary attraction in Feng Huang. Welcome to the former residence of Shen Kongwen, a place where the spirit of one of China's greatest modern writers comes alive. Here we step into the former home and creative temple, a literary genius whose works continue to captivate hearts worldwide. Shen Songwen is from this region of China, the Xiangxi region of Hunan province, and it's his love and captivation and sense of nostalgia for Feng Huang in particular that permeates throughout his literary works. As we stroll through this hollowed sanctuary, I can sense the creative energy that once flowed through the veins of Shen Songwen. His words echo through these walls, transporting us to old Feng Huang in his eyes. Most people's houses were dangling foot houses, half on land, half on stilts built over the water. When water crept up over the street during a great springtime flood, the households of River Street would extend long ladders from the eaves of their houses houses across to the city wall. Cursing and shouting, they entered the city over their ladders, carrying cloth-wrapped bundles, bedrolls, and crocks of rice, and then wait for the water to recede before coming back out of the city through the gate in the wall. His words, like brushstrokes on a canvas, paint vivid pictures of life in this region of China, as well as the human emotional experience. Shen Songwen's stories, while beautiful and very real, might not be the best cure for depression. But now, let me tell you what is. Hey there, a message from your travel doctor here. I see that you've been engaging in various activities to nourish your mind and spirit. And while that's very commendable, I can tell that there's something missing. It's time to immerse yourself in the spellbinding and soul-stirring views of Phoenix Ancient City at night. Consider this my prescription to you. Let the worries of the world melt away as you envision yourself on a serene boat gently gliding along the shimmering waters of the Tuojiang River. The town comes alive with a symphony of lights, 
casting a warm and vibrant glow upon the ancient city. Now, as the boat traverses the water, witness bridges transforming into radiant works of art. They embrace a newfound vibrancy, adorning themselves with brilliant shades that dance upon the river's surface. The air is alive with the symphony of performances, the melodic notes blending harmoniously with the soothing sound of waterfalls. Inhale deeply and allow the abundance of life and beauty that thrives here to nourish your spirit. May these sights and words remain etched in your memory as a continual source of comfort and inspiration. What an incredible journey it's been exploring Phoenix ancient city. But don't leave yet because my most important and powerful message I still have yet to share with you. While I can't claim to have struggled with depression myself, there's a thought that would often linger in my head that I imagine might resonate with those who do. It's the idea that once the adventure is finished, once I bid farewell to a beautiful destination like Feng Fong, the fun is finally over and my happiness will fade away. Now, of course, that's nonsense. But as a message to this voice of depression, I've penned a letter from my future self to my present self right here in Feng Fong. And I've written it inside none other than my Nanjing journal. Dear Noah, it is beyond the veil that I arrive with a message. As you reside in your molting nest, facing the flames of change, anticipation and anxiety fills your heart. It may seem shrouded in the cloak of fear that the end is near, that your lifelong dreams of one day soaring through the sky have faded that you will live out the rest of your days in this inferno of freezing agony. But hear me now and shed the cloak of fear. You are but an infant and life has only just begun. Prepare for a life anew. Today you will plunge headfirst into the fires of Feng Huang and emerge a supernatural being. Here you stand, heliocentric, raised up by the rays of nuclear fusion, revealing that inner beacon of light you always knew you had. From the solar nucleus you emerge in flight, higher, faster, and lighter than ever before under a pair of radiant golden wings. As the winds of wisdom gently whistles through your plumage, whispering the ancient secrets of the past, a breath of clarity pierces heart, steering you forward with an unwavering sense of purpose and pure thrill for the journey. If ever your energy begins to descend, simply relax, let go, and allow the winds of wisdom to guide you back into the flames of change from whence you came. But you must remember that this metamorphosis is a singular event, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Your ascent begins here, this moment marking the starting point of your journey to greatness. Prepare to forge friendships that echo from deep within the soul, to play Nuo Song finally returning home to Cui Cui, to soar in tandem with the world's greatest visionaries, and co-craft extraordinary masterpieces. The candles of time flicker ceaselessly, guiding you from second to second, hour to hour, to vast infinity. You may think that this has been a very intimate and personal letter. And in fact, it is, because all along, it's been addressed to you. The reality I just described does not belong solely to me. It exists for all individuals who seek it. So now, roommates, the time has come. Let us light the fire within and together rise as the phoenix from the ashes, united in pursuit of our unique and glorious destinies. I'll see you all for our next great China adventure.